Hi, this is Betsy from Cat and Corners Vinyl, and today we are starting a, a fall fun project. Um, we're going to start off by doing the paint portion, and then we will get on to the vinyl portion, but it has to dry. So, first things first, I bought this pumpkin. Pretty cute. Had a string in it, it's right over there. I took it out so that way I could paint without painting my string. Um, it was $9.99, 40% off at Hobby Lobby, so it was like six bucks, nothing major. Um, I went ahead and if you see up here on the stem, I took an ink pen and drew kind of out where I wanted my stem to go so that way I could paint it and then after we paint all base coat and it's all dry, then I'll add some accents of black to make it stand out even more. But I've been asked to do like every step, so that's what we're going to do. So the paint I got is this is Master Touch from Hobby Lobby. I buy it when it's on sale. This is grass green and orange is what we're gonna be using today. Put some on a plate and we'll start with the stem. Anyways, so I'm feeling better. I have my CAT scan tomorrow for my sinuses so that way we can see which ones are blocked, so that way hopefully we can find out if I am a candidate for surgery, so hopefully I can have surgery and then quit having to deal with sinus infections all the time. And I never thought I would be excited for the possibility of surgery, but when you've been fighting with sinus infections, and I roughly get three to four of them a year, and we've tried lots of different techniques, and nothing's worked, so the thought of having sinus surgery does not bother me anymore at this point. As you can see, I'm just taking this foam brush, and I'm matching up with my lines. So that way, everything's nice and smooth. And I like the Master's Touch Acrylic Paint from Hobby Lobby. Uh, it's probably not the most pigmented paint. It's not like using house paint. I mean, but I like that you can get some of the texture of wood if you want to keep your coats thin, that you can get some of the texture of the wood showing through the paint. I like it to have more of a rusticy feel, I guess. So I'm just going in very carefully and painting my stem out. And then I'm going to take and lift so that way I can paint the sides. Because I don't know about you, but like when I'm painting a project or working on a project, I like all the edges that are going to be seen to have paint on them so that way it looks more finished. And I may even do a cute bow on this, I'm not sure yet. I'm not even sure what text I'm going to do on it. I wanted to get the paint on it first so that way I could kind of play with it and see how I was feeling after the paint was on. But there you go, you can see how the stem looks. Nice and cute. I just figured it'd be something fun to use as a door hanger. So now I'm gonna squirt out some of the orange paint and I'm gonna start lower on the pumpkin so that way this has a chance to dry before I start getting too close to it with the orange. But I will use a smaller brush to trace everything out with some black paint or maybe brown paint. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. So I just squirted a little bit out. And what we're going to do is I like to follow the grain of the wood, so going up and down. And I think this is going to be like an adorable little fall pumpkin. Because I have Halloween decorations and I have football decorations, but I didn't make a fall sign yet, so I was like, well, that will be something fun to do. 
and we're still waiting on insurance stuff. It's been a lot going on. I mean, I don't know if y'all have ever dealt with a natural disaster, but it's whenever it's something as devastating to your community as Harvey was, I mean, and it devastated so many people, and I'm sure that Irma was the same way. And I feel, I, I can't even imagine what the people of Puerto Rico are doing right now because they're saying like six months or so without electricity. I mean, that's just unfathomable to me in my mind that, you know, but I guess it's an island, so I don't really know that much about it. Um, with everything that's been going on with the weather lately. So as you can see, I'm just painting the edges. And making sure that's all nice and even, which I touched it with my orange paint, but I still have my green sitting right here, so I can take and touch that up. And smooth it out. I try to stay away from the tip, but that didn't work out too well now, did it? Uh, I am not the best painter in the world, but I do enjoy these types of projects. I like to have things that are homemade and stuff that's simple and easy to do and not too expensive. Because, I mean, when you're talking about starting to get into some of like the deco mesh wreaths and stuff like that, those types of projects can get pricey pretty quick because that material is expensive and depending on how much you use like even whenever I do a tool wreath now I take and buy everything when it's on sale it's still expensive I mean when you're talking about something like this that especially if you buy and hold on to your paint which I do and um, I reuse paint all the time you know the wood part was six and maybe spending a dollar in vinyl or, or transfer tape or whatever, um, pennies and freaking paint. Cause I mean, as you can see, the paint goes a long way on a project like this. But we're making sure our coat is nice and even. Trying to figure out if we're gonna try to go and do anything tomorrow evening. Tomorrow is mine and Jeremy's 15th wedding anniversary. That's a long time to be married. I wouldn't trade it for the world. It's just, it's a long time to be married. Whenever you start to think about it, like, I am 34. Jeremy's 34. We've been together now since we were 17, so half of our lives. We've been married for 15 years, so since we were 19, that's almost half my life. It's over a third of my life. I couldn't even imagine, like, trying to date or anything like that. That's probably weird to say, but I mean, I have friends and stuff that have gone through divorces and like seeing them get back out there, I mean, that would make me a nervous wreck trying to, I guess, start over. And I'm happy. I have a pretty good husband. He loves me. He spoils me rotten. And we had a great time at, when we went to the ISS show this weekend and it was nice to get away for a bit. Like my kids, Nadia is 17, Caden's 15 and Cameron's 10. I have went out of town four times since they've been born without them. So, I mean, that should tell you something. I don't go anywhere without my kids. So, and this was the fourth time to go without them because um, they had no want and it was just at the beginning of school. So for them to have to miss a school day just to go to the ISS show. So my brother-in-law and sister-in-law kept them which not really kept them, like brought them to school and brought Cameron to soccer and all that fun kind of stuff because we were out of town, which again was really weird because 
we never go out of town. And if we do, it's as a family. We do pretty much everything as a family. We, me and Jeremy went and saw it as a couple when the theater opened. I didn't, didn't get to see it opening week in the way that I wanted to because I don't know how it is for everybody else, but Pennywise or it itself is the scariest thing in the world to me. Whenever I was a kid and I first saw the It mini series, and that is how I got my fear of clowns. I'm scared to death of clowns. I have been for as long as I can remember and I still am. Um, but I still wanted to see the movie because it looked awesome and when we went and saw it, it was I was absolutely terrified, but it was amazing. Um, like I like, I don't know how everybody else is, but for myself personally, I like to be scared a little bit. So, for me, going to see a scary movie is fun. So we went and saw that after the movie theater opened back up because around here in Beaumont, which is where the good theater is, um, sounds funny, but uh, like we have a Tinseltown or Cinemark brand, ours is called Tinseltown in Beaumont and they have like the XD theater and 3D and all that fun kind of stuff. Cause I mean, we live in a small town. So Beaumont is pretty much the closest big city to us. And it is not that big in the grand scheme of things. Uh, I mean, we live about two hours outside of Houston. So that should kind of tell you something. And if we want to go to like a museum or whatever, we always drive to Houston because there's nothing really around here. But if we want to go see a movie, we always go to Beaumont because I like a nice theater, especially with as much as movie tickets cost. I mean, it's kind of outrageous on what you spend on going to see a movie lately. And normally when we go, we go as a family, like with the kids and everything, but it was rated R, so the big kids probably would have want, well, Naughty would have wanted to see it. Caden has no want at all to be scared. He's scared of gremlins, didn't want to have anything to do with it, so he wouldn't have wanted to see it, but Naughty did. But I figured, you know, she's 17. She can go with her friends or we'll probably buy it when it comes out. But Cameron, being 10, is a little bit young for a movie like that. And maybe I'm just being an overprotective mom, but I don't think that a 10 year old should be watching R-rated movies. And as you can see, I'm getting as close to the stem as I can without overlapping it because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and paint the detail on with either black or brown paint. I'm not really sure yet which color I'm going to use. Kind of depends on how this dries. I'm thinking probably black though because I think it will pop more because these are awfully dark colors. And I'm not sure if I want to paint the letters on and make a stencil or if I'm wanting to just put vinyl on top of it and I'm not sure if I want to do heat transfer or if I'm wanting to do regular. Like I think I want glitter letters. I think that would be super cute. But I mean, for me personally, the more glitter, the better. I like anything that sparkles. And especially whenever it's outside like that, it really like when the sun catches it, it looks so pretty. I sound like a goofball, but it's like, I have feel like other, I feel like I've done a couple of little things here and there. I feel better. I don't feel great yet, but I feel better. So it's like, well, let's do a tutorial. I've been promising a tutorial for a while. And once this is dry and then I can look at it, we'll do another tutorial probably tomorrow depends as i said i have my cat scan tomorrow so depending on how long that takes and how i feel after that 
We will probably do the tutorial tomorrow though on how I take and we'll paint the details on and then we'll decide on lettering. But I probably will paint the letters and maybe glitter over them like I did on my bulldog wreath. Not sure yet. I just got to think of a cute saying to put on here. And if y'all can think of it, leave it down in the comments below. And if you like this type of video, also give it a big thumbs up so I can see if that's the type of content y'all are wanting to see. Um, we are going to be adding more tutorials on the computer soon. Um, my husband has been in the process of kind of looking for a new computer for me that will take and do screen capture and everything a little bit more smoothly because when I start getting into other things other than text it doesn't like it slows down really really bad and um, he's particular about electronics to me I could care less and as you can see I'm just kind of touching up on spots and double checking where everything's at and making sure all the paint is covered and that's why I love a sponge brush with that sharp edge you can take and get really close without muddying your colors sure all the edges are covered and I'll probably touch up my green a little bit before we finish for today because I touched it a little bit even see that's the problem is even when I'm trying to be careful I'm not a fantastic painter but if I can make this look good anybody can because I can do magic with vinyl. I can do a lot of stuff a lot of people can't, which I'm trying to teach y'all all how to do it. But paint, not so much. But I enjoy doing it, it's relaxing to me. So right now, that is all finished. So we'll let this dry overnight and then we can take and add some accents, which I have, uh, some Naples yellow and I have white which I'll probably thin out some of the orange and green and use some yellow too to brighten it up because we want to add some stripes and stuff like that that make the pumpkin look like a pumpkin um so we'll work on that either tomorrow or Thursday and plus I'll decide on what we're going to do with our lettering for that video as well so remember if you have any cute ideas for the saying for this leave them down in the comments below um, we will be doing our scrap box drawing on October the 4th. We'll do it live on Facebook, so you'll be able to take and watch live on Facebook for us to do that drawing, um, which is a huge scrap box for October because September we were replacing vinyls and stuff like that. So, I mean, this is probably the best box that we've had. It, plus, it's back to school season, so we've had tons and tons of custom items so there is a ton of stuff in there um so remember to enter for that you have to like and share our facebook page if you've already liked it just share it that's one entry uh you need to go follow us on instagram that's another twitter that's another um snapchat that's another and if you make any purchases online or in the store that also counts towards your the scrap box drawing um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Thanks, and y'all have a great day.